Have you ever taken those amazing photos on vacation and then there's like a couple people standing behind you just photobombing it and ruining the entire photo? Well, this is really gonna help with that. Today I'm gonna teach you how to remove objects from photos. Now, I want to declare that I am in no way a professional photography editor. These are just things that I've taught myself over the years and used friendly apps that are available to everyone. There's two apps that I use. One of them is not free. The other one is free and it's also my favorite. So stay tuned for that. And all of this can be done from your phone. You don't need a laptop, you don't need a special program, you just need to download an app. I am not sponsored by any of these. Uh, this is my genuine opinion and I use this stuff every day. Don't forget to subscribe and let's just get straight into it. Okay, so we're going to open our Lightroom app and click the photo that you want to edit. And then we're going to go to the healing brush. So you're gonna click the little band-aid. Right under that is the cloning tool and then the circle with the dot in the middle adjusts the size. You can hold it down and go up or down to adjust the size. And then you're gonna just paint in the object that you want to remove. And then it gives you the option to move around to the area that you want to replace it with. This is kind of difficult because we have a leaf here and there's not much options because the other side is going in the opposite direction. But this tool does work good. You just have to save it and then do the head area and then find a spot that matches. But again, this costs $15 a month to get usage of this part of the app. And the result turns out okay. So then it also has a cloning tool, which is the stamp underneath the bandage that works in a similar way. And you just try and find what best suits it. But I don't really like the way that this one works. I prefer the bandaid. But again, the Lightroom app that I showed you, that feature is not free. There is a seven day or 14 day trial, I believe, that you can try it out for free. But then after that, you have to pay around $15 a month to use that feature in the app. The next one I'm gonna show you is free. Okay, so we're gonna open PixArt and click the photo that you want to edit. And then in Tools, you're going to click Remove. And so you're going to do the same thing and highlight it. The size is on the bottom there if you want to adjust it. And then you just simply click remove and it finds the most similar colors surrounding the object and tries to match it. But I noticed that this, it looks really blurry. And also that part of the app, because it has a crown on it, is part of the paid part of the app. So it is $5 a month but what is free is the clone tool. So we're gonna try that out. And what this does is you put the clone tool directly above the part or beside the part that you wanna copy and you adjust the size, the bigger the better, but it just depends what you're working with. And then you kind of paint, you're using the clone tool to paint over the object with what's beside it. And then you keep doing that until you get your desired look. Now what you might notice here is that the lines are a little bit jagged in the leaf. Um, and then you could just keep scrolling over and then eventually it becomes straight. It just depends on where you're putting your cloning tool and the lines and the directions that you're going. So you could just play around with it until you get something that works. And there you go. This is my favorite removal tool out of all of them. You can also use this with people in the background of photos. So say I want to remove these two ladies. So I'm going to go and Use the grass beside them to paint over them. And then if it looks a little bit 
like dark and out of place again you can go over and smooth it out with the same tool until you get your desired look and that's how you remove people from your photos it also works too if you want to paint over objects and fill them in with something else so I don't want that cabin there I just want a full forest so I'm, I'm just gonna choose the area of trees that I want to copy and then paint over the empty tree spaces to cover the cabin and there you go That's all I have for you. I hope it's helpful and you can use it for your photos. If you're scrolling through my Instagram and wanna know how I made certain edits or certain colors in a photo, leave it in the comment section below and I'll make a video for you to show you how I do those edits. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.